The study of plant anatomy can be extended to the examination of fossil plants. Here we have an artist's reconstruction of a middle-late carboniferous coal swamp showing different plant communities, including trees of club mosses, scouring rushes, and ferns. Coal veins from the Permian Carboniferous can be exposed in strip mines and in deep shaft mines where calcium carbonate coal balls can be removed. The different layers are color-coded for identification. The University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign houses the world's largest collection of coal balls containing over 40,000 indexed specimens. Studies of these specimens have revealed considerable information on past climatic conditions and evolutionary changes in the plant kingdom. Dr. Tom Phillips is the curator of the University of Illinois Paleobotanical Herbarium and holds here a coal ball that will be sectioned and prepared for anatomical study of fossil plant specimens. The coal ball is first tightly clamped in a vise that will carry it past a rotary saw. The saw with diamond tip serrations is immersed in an oil bath for lubrication and cooling. Slowly, the coal ball moves past the rotating saw blade and segments are prepared. After segments have been cut, they may be prepared for chemical etching. First, a stream of tap water cleans the cut surface and then the coal ball segment is immersed in a bath of 5% hydrochloric acid for 15 seconds. This etches away the carbonates which are released as carbon dioxide bubbles. The acid is then washed off the block and it is placed in a gravel bed where it is washed with a stream of acetone. The process may be repeated and upon drying the cut and etched surface takes on a whitish appearance. Once again acetone may be used to flood the surface of the block and a clear sheet of cellulose acetate is placed over the surface of the specimen. The acetone dissolves the surface of the acetone sheet to allow for the top of the elevated specimens to become embedded in the sheet. After drying, the acetate can be peeled from the surface and is sufficiently thin that it can be studied with light microscopy for the identification of structures. The information obtained can be recorded indicating different plant species and their distributions. Studying the anatomy of fossil plants from coal balls allows researchers to reconstruct vegetational patterns of the geological past.